Hello, hello. <laughs> People keep knocking on my door. <laughs> and the windows are rattling because we're having a, a windstorm. Yeah. A little interesting. I keep getting interrupted to come on. But here I am. Let me know if you're here. Drop a comment. I'm going to do some inviting. Happy Friday. Yeah. Good. Hi, Missa. <laughs> I recognize your face. Let us see how everybody's feeling today. You know? Are you did you have a busy week? And I wanted to come on and talk about uh, just, you know, what do we need today, right? <clears throat> I've been feeling that a lot of people are jumping timelines. And their past lives are coming forward and merging into our current timelines. And this is causing, you know, some interesting dreams, right? Also, we're up-leveling, we're getting new knowledge. The more we can tap into our higher self, right? Then we can bring that knowledge in. So yeah, knowing yourself so completely, you know? And that's gonna change from moment to moment. Um, but you have your core beliefs, your core needs, right? But even if you don't know what past life it is, even if you can't do that recollection or you work with someone to bring that forward, just have your intention be to merge those timelines. So when I wake up in the morning or even in my sleep, <laughs> I'll say, um, I am living my best timeline. When I wake up, I'll be living my best timeline. Right? And so doing these beautiful programmable thoughts, you know, because, you know, really that mind energy is like little radar blips that we're sending out to the universe. Now, when we're sleeping, our brain waves are doing different things, right? We have sort of the dead ish phase where we're not doing a whole lot of attraction or anything. And then, you know, as we're dreaming, we're in another phase. And then we're in these phases right between the worlds as we're falling asleep at night. And you can do this as well when you're, when you wake up in the middle of the night and you fall back to sleep, you know? Yeah. And so what I like to say then in those in-between times is I'll either send my spirit out to those that can benefit from my classes or to a soulmate to draw in. Uh, you could be specific, right? We teach a lot about astral marketing even in the Reiki class. That comes up in our Reiki 3 portion. In fact, I give everyone all the tools to have their own Reiki practice and, you know, how you can honor what you do. And, yeah, there's a lot there. It's really beautiful. And then learning, you know, how to, how to market for free <laughs> and attracting, you know, by being your authentic self, right? And whatever you do, yeah. But we attract the good things when we vibe the happy. So a lot of times we go about things backwards where we reach out for the things to fulfill us and bring us happiness. When really it should be you think about something that brings you that joy, you know, so you get out of the guck you're in, whatever those thoughts, patterns are that are drawing you into this negative thinking and vibe, right? You might even feel it physically. Instead, you change your thinking to a point of gratitude, even if it's very small and in the moment, right? So making a list, like, you know, on the full moon, I made a big old list of everything I'm grateful for 
and you know um, focusing on, on that gratitude right and the more you do or even thinking about someone you love but think about something that brings you that higher vibration and then from there you'll attract more of that vibration in your life so it's really beautiful <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so I wanted to um, do a little energy session. Let me know who's here. I'm going to play something for us. Bring a little music into our experience. If I can find it. <laughs> so we just finished the Dragons of Avalon and we had this beautiful dragon reiki music. So I'm going to play it for you. And so if you would like to receive this little energy and clearing that we're going to do now. I'd like you to come into your breath, go into relaxed, seated posture. And even if you're on the go or listening with your headphones, just know that you'll receive what you need. Mm, take those big, beautiful breaths. Inhale up the body. Exhale, release down the body. Dropping fully into your sit bones, relaxing the low back, the legs, the feet. And again, inhale, breathe it up the spine. Exhale, release. Flowing with your breath, begin noticing the root of your breath. Notice the parts of you that are having trouble breathing or taking the oxygen and breath to its fullness. So as you're inhaling, bring your belly and low back, fill it up into a nice big balloon there. Exhale, slowly draw it in. As we expand here, we're also making space for the lower lungs and we're releasing the stress, the cortisol, infusing the kidneys, the adrenals with the prana. Keep focusing on that breath. And if it's difficult at first, try and relax the knees into it. On your next inhale, go from belly up to heart. Bigger, fuller breath now. Lifting the chest, breathing into collarbone. And again, it might feel a little difficult at first, so just allow it to happen. See, feel or know that your lungs are expanding. All your little tree branches of lungs, your alveoli, your little branches are opening up. Also opening up the back of the throat, inhaling belly up to chest. Exhale, release down the body, all the stress, all the tension in the shoulders, the neck. Maybe move around a little bit if you need to. Good. See, feel and know that you're breathing up into third eye, filling up the head with the breath, the prana, the energy of your own root all the way up. 
exhale now let's just spread the energy out the third eye so it's going to exhale out the front you might also exhale out the back right where the bones meet inhale up the shishuma up the central channel all the way up to third eye exhale out your third eye See, so feel and know, have your eyes closed or half masked so that your gaze is fixed and soft. Beautiful. Good. And now, as you exhale, I want you to see, feel, and know that coming out the front is this beautiful energy. It's swirling, swirling like a shoku ray, swirling like a spiral, like an ice cream cone. And it continues to build and it extends out further and further and it becomes a unicorn horn. Let it extend. It's ethereal. Mm, good, and it's tapping into the knowledge of your higher self. You might see this as a light in front of you. It could be a bit purple and iridescent. Good, on the count of three, bring that knowledge through your unicorn horn into your third eye. One, allow it to let it happen. Three, bring it in. Good, a few more rounds of bringing that energy in. Good, and I'm gonna use my master crystal to work around your beans, especially around the head, the crown. And creating a little portal here so you might open up to any past timelines that are affecting you now. Good. And we're bringing that knowledge down. It's coming down to third eye. Throat. This will help you to also communicate to your guides and spirit. Good. I'm gonna spin the throat chakra a little bit here. Open the jaw. Good, take that deep breath. That's a good sign. You're moving energy, pulling anything out, anything from past life that's been holding you back from coming fully into your psychic centers, your guides, this new energy that's coming in for you. Allow it to flow. Good, spinning that throat chakra back. Shokure, 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 shokure. Mm, chasing it with some sahikis. <laughs> Sahiki. Sahiki. Good. Mm, allowing that energy to come down to heart. Solar plexus, belly, down to your root, where all this beautiful knowledge is anchored in to the root, the soil, where you're going to plant the seeds of creation here. This is a really good time of year for that as we're coming into our first spring holidays, February 2nd. Good, begin planting those seeds in our darkest time of year. Good. Mm, taking a big breath. Now I want you to bring those beautiful seeds of intention. See them growing as if they were little sprouts and they're going into the belly chakra where the water is and they're being watered. Bringing those sprouts up a little higher into the solar plexus where the sun is shining upon them and you're growing your intentions. Good. 
Good. Bringing your, your sprouts of your plant, your seeds of intention up to the heart. And here, just let it bloom. Take a big breath here. Exhale out the front and back of the heart. It might be your strands, your vines, your intentions being so full of that heart energy now. You might see it a little more cosmic and like a big grid or blueprint that extends out as you extend the strands of your heart out horizontally. Good. And bringing attention back to heart and I feel like these sprouts need to come up to the throat. Good. Before we fully grow here, I want you to really exhale out the mouth, anything you need to let go of in the throat. See it as if it's chains, bondage. Throw it in this beautiful fire pit in front of you. Ready? Inhale. Exhale, release. Two more rounds. Really drop the jaw, open the back of throat one more time. See, feel, and know. Good. Allowing that heart energy of the green sprouts of intention to come up to throat. Hmm, it's being really blessed here with the peaceful blues of the throat chakra as you speak what you desire into existence. So say it out loud now. Good. Bringing those beautiful sprouts from throat up to third eye. And allow it to go through all the beautiful parts of the brain all the nervous system here. Good. It's really lighting up the uh, cerebellum and the hypothalamus and everything in the back of the brain and coming into the third eye and pineal gland, pituitary glands. Just lighting them up and your unicorn horn is getting stronger and stronger. Mm, and you're tapped in. And you're tapped into the vibrations all around you, especially out in nature. And so know when you just literally just tap, you get that information. Like a download. Good. Continue to use that tool in your meditation. Bring in your beautiful sprouted energy all the way up now. Bring it all the way up to the crown. Let it just sprout out the crown, this beautiful energy. Mm, see, feel, and know it's whatever color is needed that's going to bring this intention into existence. So think about maybe what chakra it's related to. It could be a combination of colors. Okay. Letting that energy come down and around the body, all the way back under the feet. And breathe it back up. Exhale out the crown. Let it surround you. Come back under the feet. Breathe it back up. Two more rounds. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.
then the peace. Good, let it fill up your being now. Breathe it down to your cells, down to all the chakra layers. Good, and now we're grounding you. Think of your feet. Think of little check marks at your feet. And in the knees, hips, all the joints, up the spine, shoulders, elbows, wrists, back of head. Good, slowly opening your eyes. Coming back to the space, wiggle your toes. Thanks for joining me tonight. <laughs> mm. Good, I hope, I hope that feels good. I feel great. And let me know how you feel. Let me know if you're watching this again on the replay. And I have the Reiki class starting Sunday. I'm really excited. If you've ever taken my class before, this is new and improved. Even the manual, if that's all you get, is different and better with more explanations. And yeah, we'll be moving on to six levels in the intuitive portion. It's gonna be really great. And right now I've raised the rate to 444, but if you let me know you saw on this live, I'll give you the rate that was the 333. And I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm really excited to just be in this beautiful space. Unicorn horns, right? Yeah, there's a whole unicorn Reiki. I think it's on my website. It's a simple attunement with a manual. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And it taps us in to the ethereal realms, right? Yeah, good. Bring it in. See that spiral? <laughs> All right. Have a beautiful evening. And I look forward to seeing you in the funny pages. Namaste.